Kasim says, I've been encountering a peculiar problem with Microsoft Teams, and I'm hoping someone here might have some insights or solutions. The issue is as follows. One of our users is unable to upload attachments or images mm -hmm. to a specific group chat. Interestingly, this user can still send attachments and images without any issues in other group chats. Has anyone experienced a similar situation or have any suggestions on how to resolve this? Any help would be greatly appreciated. You got to think about who's in the group. So if they allow external users, my guess is that this is a group chat that includes an external or guest user and that guest users policy for their tenant probably prohibits uh, uploading of attachments for um, external chats. I see this a lot where people will get into group chats with people outside the organization um, and the other organization has blocked uploads or blocked whatever um, thing that you can't do. And so then you get in a group chat and one person in the group is from not in your organization or their organization blocks it. And then that means the whole group is blocked. So that's mm -hmm. probably the most common scenario that would cause this to happen. If it's internally, it's all internal people, um, there may be a policy behind the scenes. So maybe they have a person who's uh, under discovery for e, like under e-discovery lock, or maybe there's a different policy that for whatever reason is blocking that particular group um, that's keeping people from being able to upload items. Yeah. That'd be my guess. So I've seen clients that they create these different policies and they're, they're group based, right? But that you have someone who's in two policies. Right. So, and depending on which one is the higher priority in the policies list is the one that takes effect. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, it's almost interesting that it would be to see what, what is that? Um, there's an old, like it's a dev tool to kind of, uh, to, to kind of root through and, and, uh, you know what I'm talking about? It's Which the one, like Fiddler or Trace guy. Route? Fiddler. Or... That's what I was thinking, like, of, like Fiddler. Through. You almost need like a Fiddler type solution around perms to, to look at, to look at the hierarchy of the permissions and look at where their user is to show the conflict between these. If you could almost visualize permissions that way, product idea, somebody out there. Yeah. Um, but the, but that would be, you know, so when you when you run into these kinds of situations, if it could flag and say, well, I see this, here's all the permissions that are associated with this site, with this chat, here are the users, oh, I see the user in two places, why, what's the differences, and here's where the rules may be in conflict causing mm -hmm. those issues. Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just with policies and, um, you know, you know, between uh, just regular policies, co confidential. I mean, maybe they were trying to send, uh, upload something that was confidential too, and you oh, can't yeah. do that, right? So you have or a DLP number. DLP policy. Exactly, right? So there's a number of reasons, right? But we don't have a good way to troubleshoot them. You literally, like, you have to be the person that configured it. But in large organizations, the person who configures DLP is not the same person that um, does the, conf you know, labels and all that kind of stuff either. So it's like you have to, there has to be some synergy. And right now, there's no easy way to do that. So I'm with you, Christian. If someone wants to build something, I'd be all over it, all over it. So it's, it's, a, it's not an easy one, unfortunately. <laughs> Jeff, you're going to build that? You like to build stuff. It's like a formula tracer in Excel. It's not made out of wood, Stacy. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it had to be perfect. I just said he could build something. It could be a wooden well, hammer it, because that would make me happy some days. <laughs> if it was made out of wood, it would be perfect then. Yeah, of course. And, <laughs> and if, it, if all else fails, well, if have you tried wood. turning it off and back on again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>